Ariel Hawani post fight at UFC 155 alongside John Moraga, who submitted Chris Cariasso tonight via guillotine choke. And John, congratulations on the win. Correct me if I'm wrong here, you don't seem all that happy with the win. Nah, uh, well, you know, I'm happy. I'm happy I got the win, man. It was a tough fight, but I just, um, I want to be better, man. I want to, I want to be able to to do what I want in there a little bit more. And I was just, uh, I don't know, you know, just I wasn't happy with the way I was fighting. I had a little bit of issues that was uh, kind of helping me track him down and stuff. But no excuses, you know what I mean? I just got to get better, and I just want to be great, man. So it wasn't. I'm happy I got the win, man. He's tough. I know he's a t not taking anything away from him, but I expected for me to impose my game plan a little bit more, and I didn't get to do that as much as I wanted to. So was he tougher than you thought he would be? Uh, you know, I knew he was going to be hard to get a hold of, but, you know, as far as his power or anything or anything tricky that he did, um, no, I think he was what I expected, but he was he was pretty tough tough to track down. I had a little bit of problems moving or something in that fight, and uh, I just couldn't get to him like I wanted to, so that that was a little harder. Yeah. Were you healthy going into the fight? Um, yeah, I would say I was healthy pretty much, you know, a little, a little foot problem, but that was, that was just messing up my movement a little bit. What was the main thing that, looking back, you wish you would have done differently? Um, you know, I don't know, because you're in there and you're kind of trying to, you're thinking, and I have to watch the tape, but I just wasn't getting to him. I was feeling like, okay, let him come to me. And then then he wasn't coming to me, and then I was like, okay, go get him. And, and then I couldn't go get him, so I was like, damn, I was trying to figure it out, man. I was a little confused in there trying to figure out what to do. The submission was beautiful. Uh, Joe Rogan was singing your praises. Uh, can you explain to us how you set it up and eventually submitted him? Um, yeah, I kind of I kind of set it up by going. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if I should do that. Oh. So it, it was it was a good submission that I get on a lot of people. Um, you don't want to spill the beans. Yeah, I don't want to spill the beans. I'll, I'll leave that as my secret we'll after. Look, all. we'll look at the tape. Yeah, try that. You know, there were some fans who wrote to me on Twitter who were disappointed this fight was on Facebook because they viewed it as a potential number one contender fight at 125. Were you disappointed? Yeah, I was very disappointed. But at the same time, you know, uh, at first I was disappointed. But then later on, I started thinking about it. And I said, well, you know what? The UFC wants the first fight to be the one that gets the night going, and if that's if I'm the guy that they look to to get that, then I'm kind of proud about it. So, you know, then that's cool now that I think about it. So I was kind of, you know, I'm happy that, that if they can count on me to do that, then that's cool. And that's, that's a little bit of my disappointment. You know, I wanted to get the fireworks going a little bit quicker, so... Finally, you know, your only professional loss is to John Dodson, who faces Demetrius Johnson next month for the belt. Are you rooting for John to win so that you can rematch him and fight for the title? You know, I don't know, man. I, I definitely want to see him do good, but I mean, uh, yeah, a little bit, you know, but I mean, not not that I want to go against Mighty Mouse because I kind of I like like the way he fights too, but you know, I'd, I'd like to see Dodson get in there. I think that maybe that helped my road get up there quicker. So You think you're the number one contender right now? I don't know, man. I'll let Dana decide that. You know, he's the boss. He's a, he's the one that decides that stuff. So I'm not gonna worry about it. All I all I worry about is getting better. F going to look at this fight, see what I did wrong, see what I could do better, and make sure that the next time I come in, I'm I'm better. You know. Well, enjoy it. Don't beat yourself up too much. It was a great performance. We look forward to what's next for you. Thank you very much.